We had three days left. I wanted to have a look at another location. We arrived at the Spitzkoppe and... Stop. I think we have to start a little earlier in the story. We had started on a Mibir trip about 100 kilometers north at the Brandberg, where we explored new bike terrain. In the Alps it's easy to tell if it's meaningful with the bikes, but here we don't really know what to expect. It's, uh, it's an experiment. Who are the first people? And I thought maybe you are crazy to hike up with a bicycle up. It's very funny for me. Sometimes we thought, what the hell are we doing here with our bikes? <laughs> next time you also take a bike, huh? Uh, yeah, yeah. Next time. <laughs> we had a great time with the whole team. Everything was perfect. But bike-wise, it's not like we've discovered a new African whistler. We had three days left and wanted to have a look at another location. We arrived at the Spitzkoppe and what we saw was just the perfect rock wonderland. Na fix. Das sieht gut aus, oder? Ist, ja. Finally, it was time to ride. Es gibt natürlich viele Flächen, die man einfach auch heizen könnte, Vollspeed, aber das ist ja nicht so unseres. Sondern wir haben wirklich geschaut, dass wir was finden, was steil ist, ausgesetzt und wo wir halt dann unsere Fähigkeiten dann halt voll einsetzen können. Wenn man wirklich mit Händen und Füßen eigentlich hochklettern muss, das ist wirklich noch äh, mit dem Bike möglich runterzufahren. can go fast, but some of the lines, the really hard lines, you have to go slow because otherwise uh, you might want to make a transition to a different line, a different rock, or the straight line would not have a good uh, run out.
So what we found at the Spitzkoppe was truly mind-blowing. The most extraordinary lines everywhere. Bring me auch noch eins mit, Axel. Cheers. 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 No bushes in the way, just clean, bare rock. Here it was pure riding and just having fun. The antithesis to the Brandberg. But I had also seen one very serious line that kept nagging at the back of my mind. That morning we decided to have breakfast on one of the most scenic spots in the area, facing the Spitzkoppel. Is there was there? The whole area around the Spitzkoppel is inspiring. There are beautiful granite monoliths, rock pools and arches, surrounding campgrounds in between. The grip on the granite was just monster. It took a while to realize what crazy lines would be possible with this kind of control. We saw that really hair-raising line down the front face of that huge rock. It was actually the first line that we saw when we arrived. At first, we couldn't imagine that it was rideable at all. You would really have to hold it together. The next day, I had a look at it. I thought, okay, this is pretty much close to the limit. If that would be possible, then it would be ultimate line. Ja, wenn der Axel so richtig extrem ausgesetzte Stellen fährt, dann vertraue ich ihm schon von den Fähigkeiten her, dass er das schon drauf hat und dass er es auf dem Kopf her schafft, aber jetzt wirklich zuschauen kann ich nicht. Everybody was skeptical, but from the very first moment that line had captured my mind and wouldn't let me go. Yeah, one of the hardest things about this line is that you can't try it. You have to know by looking at it. Yeah, I was training on more and even steeper lines and then after a couple of couple of tries at different locations where I knew I could handle the steepness and keep it together with braking, uh, I knew, okay, I'm ready for that. It's the ultimate exposure. <laughs> Just looking down to the camp, there were a few people camping there, you see the tents. You really have to concentrate to not focus on the background. Ich habe gesagt, ich, ich probiere mal ohne Druck und es war bei weitem nicht so sein. Ich mich da hin und es hebt, es hebt, es hebt. Geil. Optik wird immer wieder, aber dann irgendwann sagst du, hey, das hat bis jetzt gehebt, das muss weiterheben. Geil. Ah, du musst schon wollen. Aber, ja, ja, das aber muss schon wollen. Nervenkitzel, ne? I was never quite sure if it was gonna work, but I thought, okay, this is possible and uh, I have to give it a try. If I wouldn't have done it now, I would have had to come back next year for sure.
glaube, dass wir 50 Prozent bergab fahren können. Wenn nicht, dann ist es ein herber Schlag. Aber ja, so ist es eben, wenn man irgendwas auscheckt, da kann man vorher nicht wissen, ob der Trail zum Fahren geht oder nicht. To hike up the Brandberg, 